Hello, hello everybody, it's your old pal Tuna and welcome back to another video. You know, I used to say that to introduce almost all the videos that I made and all the podcasts and everything anytime where I needed to introduce myself, but I haven't said it for like any of these vlogs and with the heart open today, I figured that that, that would be the call. Anyway, it is me, your old pal Tuna, and let's chat, let's catch back up to where we are now. It is December 20th, it is a Tuesday. The first piece of news, I am delighted to announce that I am no longer really sick. I'm, I'm guessing I'm at like 95%. I gave myself 90 yesterday and I am feeling 5% better. I still have a little bit of extra goo to evacuate from my orifices. But otherwise, I feel totally fine, thank goodness. And my plan, yeah, is to stay home. I'm not going anywhere. I got my big comfy sweater on. I did put on regular pants so that I wasn't totally in my PJs today. But I still have lots to do. <laughs> because I didn't get any work done yesterday, I'm gonna be playing a little bit of catch up, but luckily this week is pretty light load anyway. The number one thing, the most, most important thing is getting those mushrooms assembled and packed up and ready to ship. And then I have four additional tasks on my list that will go through in like easy to hard slash time consuming order. I have to place an order for the December and January Patreon sticker sheets. I'm going to take the photos that I took from was it, was, it, was it the last vlog? I think so, of the painted commission that I did, and I'm gonna edit those so that the digital edition is ready to send to the commissioner. I'd like to create a quick reel, a little content, if you will. Uh, there's the artist versus art challenge that goes around every year, and it's usually like a nine by, no, nine by nine. It's usually a three by three, nine square grid with you in the middle and all your art around it. But I saw that people have been doing reels, and I was like, oh. That's just so much smarter. So I can cut together something like that. That would be nice, just something to post on Instagram. <laughs> and then if I have time, I'd like to get started on the Christmas gift to my patrons, which is going to be a 2023 calendar that they can either print out or have as their desktop background. I wanted to create a new illustration for this. I was also thinking of some fun way that I could combine a bunch of the stuff that I've done throughout 2022, but I don't know. I don't really have like a clear vision for that, so probably just makes more sense to draw something new. But that is a very ambitious list for today for one little tuna to accomplish. So we'll get started. We'll see how far we get. Bottom line, we're gonna get those mushrooms done because that's, that's the most important thing. So I have 61 done, I need 79. That means I gotta go back and do a bunch more sheets of printing, cutting, constructing, etc. I think instead I'm going to package up the ones that I have and finish that batch just so that I can know that there are a handful that are done. Then I'll go back and do that final 20. Not that terribly laborious. I did have to set a couple of timers to make sure that I was focusing on just constructing them because I kept getting distracted. <laughs> and we'll see how I feel about making those final 20 once uh, these are all packaged up. All right, here we go. I have these ones stuffed and these ones are still waiting for reprinted and recut mushrooms. All I have left to do for these ones is to put the thank you notes inside. 
And then of course, seal them up, stamp them, get them out the door. I also find it kind of difficult to show off the stuff that I'm doing here digitally on the computer, but I wanted to share the before and the after of how the uh, color correction turned out. Luckily, I so I took fo this photo with my DSLR camera, which I have and do not film vlogs with. <laughs> but it's not like the world's like highest quality, so I kind of get a little bit of this pixelation. I kind of like the effect that it has on the uh, digital version, but it managed to capture the colors almost perfectly. So all that I had to do was throw a little level correction on there. So it went from grayed out, dark, to nice and bright. And it looks, it obviously looks better in person than it does in the, you know, the camera situation, but that was really easy, that was really quick. I'll just clean up the sides here and then that'll be done. Is anybody else getting deja vu? <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday now. As you saw in the footage last night, I ended up really needing to just like not do the work that I had to do. Uh, so I elected to procrastinate through the cleaning of my bathroom. Very satisfying, had a bath afterwards, fabulous. But this is now day three of working on these mushroom prints and I have I don't want to say regrets, but I really wish things had gone differently <laughs> in terms of like finishing this all on the first day like I should have. If you remember going back, the reason that I had to delay it was because my cutting mats weren't uh, adhering enough. Hello, Nori. Yes, <laughs> I am talking and not to you. Uh, my adhesive mats were not sticky enough to keep the card stock paper stuck to it for cutting and my cutting was getting damaged. So I had to wait for the new cutting mats and then yesterday I started again and then I got distracted and I was tired and yada yada. This is day three. Uh, I have written the thank you notes for the first batch. I just have 20 more to make and then I promise we're moving on and you're never gonna see these mushrooms again. Okay, <laughs> they're done. The only thing that I have left to do is to seal up the envelopes and to stamp them. That will not take very long and I'm going to recruit Mark when he gets home from his half day shift today. We're gonna sit down and do those together. Rolling into the final leftover task from yesterday is doing the calendar. Uh, I have two ideas for how to approach it. So we're gonna do some sketching, some laying out and see which one we like the best. But at this point I have to make this task not super time consuming because there is still more to do. All right, here is my sketch for the calendar idea. Uh, this is the first one that I've done. The other idea I had involved recycling another illustration that I've completed recently. But last night when I was brainstorming, this kind of layout came to mind and I wanted to just get it on the paper. And I think it looks really cute. I think this is gonna be successful. My plan is to choose a few colors like yellow, orange, black, gray, 
white. My plan is to have this be both a digital asset that uh, my patrons can use as a wallpaper and as well a printable asset. Mm -hmm.